What proportion of manuscripts do you reject without reviews? Probably about 2%. It's a very small percentage. Uh, because our journal is more interdisciplinary. So I'm a little more relaxed in terms of uh, the norms of somebody uh, making a submission from English or from uh, communication and culture or from anthropology. So I tend to, to be a little lax in terms of uh, the submissions, partly because I think it's important for the submitter to hear from her or his peers that this is a piece of crap and not the basis of the editor's personal <laughs> bias and whims. So, or that it's the greatest thing ever in the discipline. Isn't that right. also a possibility? That's <laughs> also a possibility. <laughs> Oh. Um, I would say uh, probably <coughs> about, uh, well certainly there are manuscripts that are deemed out of scope, uh, and, and I'm not including those, but, but right. out of those probably about 5%, because I, I very much share what Jim said, it, it's important that scholars of whatever level they are in their careers hear from their peers, rather than just kind of, a, as, as Jim said, the kind of biases of a particular editor. Well, we're anticipating. <laughs> so there's a reason you asked this question. <laughs> well, th th there is indeed. I, I would say uh, I'm somewhere, and uh, based on six months of experience, I'm a new editor, uh, I would say somewhere around five, hmm. maybe 10%. But this is an interesting it depends question, <laughs> because if you talk to an editor of a big circulation journal, um, that is attracting international interest uh, with a huge readership, they're going to be getting a lot more papers than we are, and a lot of them are absolutely out. Uh, they're just not in that league of, of, uh, of work. And so I've talked to American editors uh, who, are, who are rejecting in the order of 75% of the manuscripts without going to review. Um, the, the, the editor makes that decision by him or herself and uh, only about 25% are getting reviewed and then some of those are getting rejected by the, uh, by the reviewers. Now presumably with, with that big a, a margin of rejection, uh, not all of that is simply because, you know, if it, this, is, this is a paper on math and somehow you've sent it to a, to a psychology journal or yeah, something. Yeah, I'm, I'm really including that. Okay. Uh, so so, just so everything you said out of scope, I'm including mm -hmm. that in the mm -hmm. ones that we mm -hmm. have to make that decision on. Does that include the ones that uh, don't come up to the not following the format? Yeah. No. I would. Well, within reason, I would. I would never reject, unless it was a real mess. I haven't seen one yet. Uh, unless it was just a totally indecipherable mess of, yeah. of, of typography, uh, you know, using one of those strange fonts or something. I don't know. Um, I would reject. Send it back. Send it again. But we can't. We can't deal with this. Sure, but sure. Uh, no, I'm not bringing in those fine okay. details of formatting. <laughs>